Well, I don't know what the earliest is you've ever gotten up to go turkey hunting or the furthest you drove. And I ain't talking about leaving to go on a trip. I'm talking about leave your house to go hunting that morning and come back. I think I'm setting a record today. That's pretty cool. Taking a guy named Dusty Jordan. He sold me my tractor. And he's a great guy. I mean, I went out there and did that deal with him. After the deal was over with, he was showing me all his turkey pictures and all he's been out west and all that. And I said, hey, dude, I'd, I'd, I'd love to take you turkey out. And he just went nuts. So we're fixing to go down to Bent Creek. We're going with Bob Walker, Bobby Ray. He was more excited about that than he was going with me. But anyway, one day deal, quick flash hunt kind of deal. I'll keep you posted. Yes, one, two. Well, there's, there is somebody crazy as I am. I set my clock for 215. What you set yours for, Dusty? 210. 210. We're going to see Bob Walker. This is Dusty. Dusty sold me my tractor. And uh, anyway, I was looking in his office, and I, he had a big old Merriam up there with a beard this long. We started talking turkey hunting. I said, man, me and you ought to go talk uh, turkey hunting. I gave him a... I sent him a text that said, good for one turkey hunt. And he held on to it, didn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, That's we're going to go. You don't forget. Let's, we're going to go meet Bobby Ray at 515 in York, Alabama, about 100 miles. I put a thing on the Instagram this morning. So, what's the furthest you ever drove and the earliest you got up for a turkey hunt? I'm anxious to see what somebody says. But anyway, uh, phase one, everybody's up and rolling. Minor detail. Yes, sir. We do have a, a non-resident all game for three days. I do apologize on that. That's what we want. Okay, that's the one for one thirty-one sixty-five. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, we're meeting uh, Bob Walker at the shortstop, just south of York, Alabama. He told us to meet him here at 5.15. I suggested 5.30, and he kind of went, eh, on the phone. So 5.15, and we was actually early, and we had to stop, pull over, and get a hunting license. We've been looking for a biscuit, but we learned there ain't nothing open at 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, we about to go hunting with no groceries, which ain't going to hurt neither one of us, but... Not at all. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, always good to have something to eat, especially when trying to keep up with Bob Walker. He's a, he's got a stride like a camel. But anyway, I guess phase one and two, we got down here, got a hunting license. We're about ready for phase three. So Bobby Ray should be pulling up momentarily. Pack of nabs and a fig newton. We didn't get no biscuit, but we got something. Bobby Ray, how we doing? What's up, brother? I'm good, man. Appreciate you. you. Appreciate you doing this. Shoot, yeah. We uh, look like it's pretty morning, but it's late All right, in now, the season. This is dusty. I didn't get him to low down. I said, now Bob, Bob hunts a little bit different than I do. And before we leave, we're going to get some tips on low impact hunting. I'm a little more aggressive. Oh, but you're not going to give us the other tips? No, we're going to get Bobby Ray. We're going to get Bobby Dustin Ray to do some how to. Dustin? Dusty. Dusty. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Dusty. Nice to meet you. He, uh, Y'all got up early, didn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> he didn't think nothing about it, though. <laughs> That's good. I wouldn't need he said his. He said his buddies asked him, did he have all his calls in his vest? He said, man, I brought a gun and three shells and a chair. He said, I feel like I ain't gonna need none, so. Uh, now, you want us to follow you or you want me to leave? Uh, let's leave, let's leave it here if that's good with you. Yeah. You can load up in here, is that all right? That works for me, I just didn't wanna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check, make sure it's okay where we right. park. All right, we're gonna load, put our boots on and be all ready right. to go in a minute. Well, it's a little foggy this morning. We didn't hear nothing at our first stop.
Y'all let me get out of that truck without my camo hat on. Your what? I got another head net I can put over. They let me get out of the truck without my moss yoke hat. You looked in that fee finder and I, I did. I got something I can put over it, though. Gosh, dog it. Bobby Ray makes me nervous. Yeah. Was it worth it just to get up at 2 a.m.? You heard a peep? Absolutely. Beats work. Thirty minutes in, we ain't heard a peep, but you can tell it's just it's foggy. We ain't heard a crow. We ain't heard nothing. Still foggy as so all get out. And we still hadn't heard a crow. But I did get my khaki hat covered up, so if we do strike one, I'm ready. It's worth a trip down to Bent Creek Lodge just to hear Bobby Ray owl hoot and screech with his voice, though. It's amazing. Well, that happened. I sat down where there was one bush right over their shoulder, and I couldn't see the turkey. Boom! I did, actually, I didn't even see him flop, but you know that's the way it goes. Hey, Dusty got him a turkey. Uh, I was way too far behind him, but they had, we had slipped in there pretty close on him, so I didn't uh, I didn't push it. I just I just dropped down. So. Hey, that's where it goes. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. What about that? Could you see? Mm -mm. I was scared of that. That's all right. I should have got close to y'all. That's awesome. Hey, we came to get Dusty a turkey. We got it. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you. Fan him out there. <coughs> What's the fan shaking for? Because uh, I'm still drilling, man. Still I love it. jacked up. Uh, I love it. Man, unbelievable. You know, hunting with Bob's a special thing, and hunting at Bent Creek. You seen Lauren, she loves to turkey hunt. That's my youngest daughter. First turkey she ever killed was right down here at Bent Creek. <laughs> Long story short, Bob, uh, went, we went down in the woods, got on a ridge, and he said, I know this turkey's down here. I've been hearing him all year. And sure enough, about 20 minutes later, she rolled him. Be careful, don't fall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Wow. great. laughs> How was that? Incredible. Yeah. He was going like you hear him when he went. <laughs> he was going. Yep. Oh my god. From that point on, it's been a special place. Bent Creek's always been a special place, but you can't kill that first turkey but once. But seeing how these guys, especially Bob down here, work pretty unbelievable so yeah it's a special place and best you got a treat <laughs>